thanks for the introduction. I'm here today on a mission, not just to deliver this speech, but to draft all of you and to my team, a team that I called the greater team. is to look behind the challenges that exist in developing women's sports here in the United Arab Emirates and to build a solid foundation based on the benefits of Emirati women being part of the sport industry. And making this happen will be the ultimate gold medal and trophy we'll ever achieve. Okay. Um, that uh, uh, that uh, this, uh, the football field is in a piece of paper being distributed around all of you. And uh, what will be what we will be playing against are shown on the right half of the uh, football pitch. The social barriers, misperceptions of women being in sports, cultural barriers the misconception, as I said, of women being in the sports field, and what is missed here, and what I consider as one of the most important challenges, is the lack of awareness of the importance of being physically active and how to live a healthy life. For the purpose of this talk, we have chosen to base our argument on the positions available in a football team, where the rules and responsibility very much more than, for example, a volleyball team or a basketball team. And for a team to be successful, any team, I believe in a simple equation. Recruiting the right players plus allocating them into the right position equal victory. So the positions that are on my team are the goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders or the playmakers, and the strikers. I will start with the goalkeeper. And for this position, we have chosen the government leaders. As we know, the goalkeeper position will usually have a unique position and more privileges than any other one on the field. Also, the goalkeeper usually takes 50% of the responsibility of winning or losing the game. And the goalkeeper we've chosen, the government leader, is the one that we can rely on 100%, as they have the right strategy and the perfect, unrestricted view of the entire pitch, giving them the chance and the opportunity of developing the game. Next up in line are the position for defense. And here we have chosen to recruit Abu Dhabi Sport Council, ADSC, Fatma Bint Mubarak Ladies Sports Academy, all sports clubs and federation, National Olympic Committee, all sports entities. The, the, defense, the defense of the team generally will be the closest outfield players to the goal. And what is expected from the defense to make short and simple passes between their teammates to excel. In this, these institutions will provide the infrastructure 
for for our professional athletes to develop further, either by providing them the right training, um, the support, the educational seminars, and the support in the national and international competitions. I believe that great moments are born from great opportunities. And having those defenders like Fatma Bint Mubarak Sport Academy and uh, Abu Dhabi Sport Council will aid in providing and creating those opportunities for ladies to play sports and for our strikers to score. And by creating this opportunity for ladies, we have to take into consideration that providing women to play sport would benefit the community if only for the simple reason of um, filling their free time with activities that is healthy and, po and positive. Now for the midfielders and playmakers, we would like to recruit schools and teachers, mothers and fathers, community programs like uh, Goyas, as they are the facilitator of basic sports and fitness and who are the mediators between defenders and strikers, our strikers, our daughters, our girls, our athletes, and the future of women's sports. We believe that everyone born to be something and to do something. Therefore, we expect from, from our playmaker recruiters to, to create the chance and to have the stamina to take this responsibility and to take the promise to help our strikers to do something. And here I would like to share a quote by Vince Lombardi, the American football player, that I felt it reflects my team. And he said, people who work together will win. Whether it be against complex football defenses or the problems of modern society. Finally, and before I end my speech, and as a physician, I would like to say, for everyone who suffers from lifestyle-related illness, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, obesity, that if illness can take all your physical ability, it cannot touch your mind, it cannot touch your heart, and it cannot touch your soul. So use your mind to think how to let your heart beats race and to motivate your soul. Take the promise to walk, to run, to swim, to cycle, and to do the sport you love. Thank you.